Leeds is often regarded as the cradle of the Industrial Revolution. Today that spirit lives on in the city-based Science Warehouse, one of the world's leading e-procurement service providers. Its innovative Amazon-style interface helps organisations achieve full control over their expenditure, while at the same time giving end users all the benefits of a fast and easy B2C buying experience. I founded the company in 2000. At that time I was working at the University of Leeds and running a research group. Uh, my issue there for the research group was that we were spending a lot of time ordering our reagents for research by a very convoluted and, and labour-intensive method, manual catalogues, and we felt there must be a better way of doing it. Users follow a simple but powerful three-step process. Find what you want, add to the basket and check out. Full on-screen line-by-line -line comparisons from different suppliers help users quickly find the right product at the best price. It's much more sophisticated than simply a front-end buying engine for the user. It has procurement controls, it drives good spend data for good spend analysis downstream as well. All of those feed into improving the efficiency of an organisation, they feed into driving savings for the organisation, they feed into controlling spend by the organisation. We do a lot of work with suppliers, um, capturing their data, normalising it, bringing it all into one structure um, so that it's very easy for the end user. We focus very much on the supply chain and organisations in the public sector as well as private sector need to improve um, the way they do business, they need to do things more efficiently and ultimately they need to save money and our solution helps do that in, in any sector. I have one customer for example who saved over £18 million just by driving spend according to the contract in the first two years of use. As a result, this market-leading company has expanded across multiple sectors – education, healthcare, life sciences, manufacturing, hospitality and construction – to name just a few. Over 13 million items are listed on its catalogues, increasing daily and ranging from office supplies to engineering components to travel. Where Science Warehouse is different is that it manages the data on behalf of the supplier and the buyer. So when a buyer looks at a catalogue, they can look at the product that, that they see and then compare it with other products that are similar at similar prices, dive down into specifications and make a deep comparison to see which is the one they should buy. And of course all along being compliant with their organisation and uh, avoiding maverick spend. We invest a lot of money in R&D. Um, the vast majority of our, of our profits we, we reinvest into the business. Um, fortunately, we're a profitable company, which, which allows us to do that. And we've got a great bunch of people here who are very innovative. Innovation is very much at the heart of everything that we do, and ultimately it drives the success of the business. I liked it here because they were basically asking me for my creative input and willing to support that. Um, I think going forward we are a young company and we're constantly recruiting and we'd love to get um, the cream of the crop when it comes to graduates and things because there's such creative minds out there and we want to stay young and innovative. Um, so we encourage new people with fresh ideas to join the company. We give people a lot of responsibility, um, often very early in their careers, perhaps earlier than they would get elsewhere, but my experience shows that uh, they really thrive on that opportunity. Never failing to innovate, Science Warehouse offers a four-week release cycle where solutions evolve constantly in line with user and buying organisations. Its system is also cloud-based, ensuring that clients never have to install new software. What we need to make sure of is that our service evolves with time to fit in with the evolving needs of the customer. And we do that in two ways. The first thing we do is obviously we interface very strongly with individual customers. Secondly, we have a very active user group and they meet on a regular basis and they feed back to us the needs they, they see going forward. In, to some extent, they drive our development roadmap. As technology is evolving so rapidly, how does Science Warehouse keep ahead of the curve? Obviously in the world of technology, there's so many things going on that you, you can't track everything, but we make a big effort to look at all the various trends that are going on. And ultimately we look a lot to the business to consumer markets because that's where often the business to business markets follow. Having started the business now 14 years ago, I couldn't be more excited than I am now about where we're going. 
If you look at the global e-procurement market, the market for e-procurement technologies is estimated by Gartner at being about £3.5 billion pounds sterling globally by 2015. Science Warehouse is not only cross-sector, we're also cross-geography. We're already live in Australia, we see that as a huge market for us going forward, and we're also looking at possible opportunities in the States, in Canada and in Europe. Offering smarter, faster and more efficient procurement services with an ever-growing client base, the future for Science Warehouse and its dynamic team seems as limitless as the technology in which it works.